For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow that stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. Right, my YG gang, good morning. It is like six something in the morning, and I have work. <laughs> I have work, and we're gonna go to the gym, stuff, and we're gonna cook, and I only have a little bit of time. Right now, I just had a ball movement. I'm putting on my waist trainer. And in the morning, I drank a little bit of this water. Uh, and I can't be on camera like this. I'm going to put on a wig. And I'll see y'all in the kitchen. All right, you guys. Welcome into my kitchen. <laughs> Embarrassing. We're going to just have to do without the light. But anyways, today we are going to be making some organic um cuting brown rice i heard this is healthy we need to make something quick because y'all already know i don't like cooking and i only have like 20 minutes making some corn and we're making some chicken breast okay this is natural boneless chicken breast skinless okay so yeah so let me tell you guys a little bit about my journey as I cook. So in high school, I used to always weigh in between like 121 to 127 pounds. And I was always athletic. I just always like to do something. But I never took my workout journey serious, serious until 2021. I was going on a Mexico trip. And I wanted my pictures to be viral so my ex could get jealous. <laughs> so I started doing CrossFit, which is a group workout. And I loved it. This was in August 2021. However, as months month go by, I was like on and off. 2022, I went to the gym consistently for a straight year. I didn't know what I was doing. And I was just going so I could feel good mentally. I would often visualize me being a workout girly as well. However, it was really, really tough. That's when I came up with the strategy in 2023. I wanted to go to group exercises full time. So I joined iCamp Fitness and throughout that year, I missed like three months of working out and it was sporadic. But I also noticed that year, I started getting more weight. I was my heaviest. I was 143. Mind you, I'm still eating bad. And you guys know I don't like to cook, but I started cooking, you know, in 2022 here and there. But I realized you can go to the gym all you want, but if you're not eating right, it's not going to do you nothing. My goal was to hit 135. And when I finally hit it, I thought I still look the same, just like how I was in high school. The only difference is I'm a little bit bigger. So then that's when I realized I did more research. It's on um, body fat percentage. So you can be the same height, same weight, but it could look 100% different on you because of the body fat and the muscle mass. The muscle mass could, could makes it look better. Uh, and also, ladies hit their second growth spurts when they're about to be 25. So I started gaining weight, y'all, and it high-key got me scared. Usually, for some people, after high school, it came, but for me, it came a little bit later. One thing I told myself, the minute I see myself getting fat or extra big, I'm, like, tightening up. And I've been was doing that. I just had to focus on my food because y'all, I'm an emotional eater. And that's why I'm making this video. So I want you guys to come with me on my journey. We are unbigging our bag. Right now I'm 142 and my goal is to stay hey. under 135. But I want to lose my gut fat. No more chicken legs. Nice back. And you know what we all want. A fat ass. I'm going to make more videos like this. So keep on watching and put on your post notifications. Alright guys, so typically every morning, um, not every morning, 
I'm not even gonna sit here and cap to y'all, okay? I go to the gym every week, though. I'm very consistent going every week, two times a week. I know some of y'all might be like, oh, that's nothing. It's something for me, because it made me consistent to go, because even for some people, you guys gotta understand, even getting up and going can be a hard thing. So the fact that I'm still doing it and I'm doing it consistently, it's a big deal. Sometimes my schedule is different every week. So hey y'all, so I'm gonna give you guys a pro tip when it comes to like eating healthier and stuff like that. This is something I've been doing and it's been working, okay? So we get distracted every single day whenever we're going somewhere. We do, as we're driving to work, wherever you want to you're going, there's always you know fast food, Chick-fil-A, um, McDonald's, just different places all around as you're going, and these are things that's distracting us. So what I do now is i keep snacks in my car i keep like uh, peaches um healthy chips um or little um candy bars and now i keep a gallon of water inside my car so whenever i get tempted i'm just like you know what because me my bad habit is going to get something else <laughs> you feel me and you know this year we're cooking and i'm gonna show you guys my cooking journey real soon we're getting back on it y'all know i hate to cook but yeah that's a pro tip for y'all okay guys so we are here let me give you guys a before i just ate a fruit cup and i just drank some water so hey this is me doing it Today we're going to be working out our stomach. Alright guys, so this is something I've also been doing differently that I've noticed a lot of change. So, I do three sets every single time and my max I add at the end. So I'll do um, 80 is my max, so I'll start one set of 50, one set of 65, and one set of 80. And then I'll do that to my max. This helps because it like it it makes you a little bit stronger so that way whenever um when you start getting easier at doing your max you go to the next level and then you reach a different max and then you continue the process so that you know you can build that muscle as you're doing it the um the reps get slower. So the whole goal is for you to do not as much as you can, but push as much as you can. All right, you guys, so this is a four minute workout. Um, we're gonna do a new exercise every one minute. So first, we're going to go ahead and do a sit up with the weight. The next workout, we're gonna be doing the sides. Last workout. I mean, next we're going to be doing reaches, and then we're going to end off with the plank, like this. And we're going to do the plank for one whole minute for each exercise. This is non-stop, okay? This is going to help you with your core. Alright, so right now we're gonna do a little bit of back. 
Y'all, my phone had died. Um, so yeah, but that was a hard workout. Um, I'm eating another peach thing. This is really healthy. All right, you guys. So I am on my way to Publix, and I'm gonna show you what I'm going to get. Okay. So you guys, Publix has five dollar shoes. Shoe shoes. They have spicy rolls, shrimp. They have cauliflower roll. All these for five dollars every mother freaking Wednesday. And I be here faithfully, faithfully. So this is what I like to eat for snack. I use. I typically get two. One for today. Next one for you know whatever. Cause you know it's two for the price. Oh. Okay. Alright you guys, so what we have is our sushi, okay? So let's open it right up. This is a, I forgot what it's called. It's the spicy roll shrimp. It's not really spicy for real. So when it comes to like sushi, I heard that sushi is healthy. But then again, I don't know because it's white rice. And a tip that my brother tells me is anything right white ain't right meaning anything that's like white like white bread white rice um just white is not good but they didn't have any more black ones so i don't know if it's healthy i'm just praying that it's healthy but this is my sushi roll I like to get this as a snack. And something I notice about me, anything that's cold make me feel like I'm eating something healthy. It doesn't make me sluggish or anything like that. I don't think this is not bad because I don't feel sluggish. I actually feel more up and ready to do things. But so we have it. And then I'm gonna go to my house and I'm gonna eat me some sauce quoi, um, dumpling and chicken breast. I'm gonna show y'all real soon. This is sauce quoi. It's like a, it's like, it's beans, like sauce of beans. And this is just rolled up dumpling and chicken breast. When I say this recipe is so good. 